Hey everybody, this is Brian from DB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the mid-size tent today. And uh, so we've got a lot of growth. Let me just grab the camera. <laughs> Take you over there. I harvested off uh, another two trays this last week for my dinners. So I've reseeded some uh, gourmet lettuce blend down there on the bottom. You can see that it's uh, it's sprouting. I'm going to get some water in there. And then uh, this was a first cut tray. There's another first cut tray, they're regrowing. So I'll be harvesting all of those next. After I do tonight's, which is this third cut, I'm gonna harvest this tray and pretty much just use that for my tonight's dinner. So since it's just me, I don't need a whole lot of lettuce, but that'll be enough for my dinner tonight. And then uh, I'll reseed that tray. The uh, cinnamon basil is starting to sprout. You can see it coming up. There's a little bigger one there. There's a bunch of little ones coming and popping up through there. So that's good to see that those are coming up. Here's the next uh, phase of the gourmet lettuce. You can see how big this one's gotten. It looks really nice and healthy. And so I'll move that one from this upper spot down to probably this area here. After I move this one out, I'll put another one down here so that way the rotation moves upward. And you can see this is the, uh, the ones we seeded last week. You can see they're, they're popping up knocking the dirt off the tops of them and they're doing really well. So those are going to be some nice greens we're going to have for our month of June. This one may make it to the uh, the May table, but these will probably won't be harvested until June. So that kind of gives you an idea how long we let these grow. And then of course, you know, we have the kales and we have plenty of greens outside at this point. So the uh, we're in no rush inside here to have the salad greens, you know, every every meal because uh, you know we've got you know the beta mix out in the uh, lower garden boxes on the deck along with the kale out there we also have that one Russian kale that we moved from the inside grow tent in here to the lower deck out there and it's just sitting in its black tote still so I haven't decided where I'm gonna put it I'm determining if I'm gonna divide that tray up and stick it where the uh, the spinach is because when the spinach decides to get too hot and bolt I'm probably gonna just take that area and then I'll put the uh, the red Russian kale on both sides of that uh, red garden boxes, you know, in the areas where the spinach is at. Uh, anyway, this is the update for the mid-sized tent. Sweaty, dirty, been working outside all day. So uh, <laughs> I hope you guys had a good weekend because I was outside playing in the dirt and there's nothing better than doing that. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.